Understanding Financial Abuse, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to delve into an important and sensitive topic, financial abuse. We'll explore what this means, why it's important to understand, and how it impacts individuals. Whether you're learning English or just looking to expand your knowledge, this video is designed to help you grasp the concept of financial abuse clearly. Financial abuse involves controlling a person's ability to acquire, use, and maintain financial resources. It often occurs in personal relationships, but it can also happen in professional or familial settings. Victims are usually restricted from accessing their own money or assets, which can leave them financially dependent on the abuser. This form of abuse can take various forms, such as stealing or withholding money, controlling how money is spent, or preventing someone from working. To understand financial abuse better, let's look at some common examples. Withholding money or credit cards. Forbidding the victim from working or attending school. Controlling how funds are spent. Stealing from or defrauding the victim. Exploiting the victim's financial resources for personal gain. These examples highlight how financial abuse is not just about money but also about power and control. Recognizing financial abuse is crucial. Signs include lack of access to money or accounts unexplained disappearance of funds or valuables, overbearing control over financial decisions, fear of discussing finances with the abuser. Understanding these signs can help identify and prevent financial abuse. Financial abuse can have long-term effects, such as financial instability or poverty, damaged credit score, mental health issues like anxiety and depression, it's important to recognize the severe impact financial abuse can have on an individual's life. If you or someone you know is facing financial abuse, seeking help is vital. This can include talking to trusted friends or family members, seeking advice from financial or legal professionals, contacting support organizations specializing in abuse cases. Remember, Seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Thank you for watching our video on financial abuse. We hope this has been informative and helpful in understanding this complex issue. If you have any questions or need assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out for help. Stay safe and take care of each other.